Hi and welcome back, Henry of HRU Bricks. And we're looking at the Lego Technic Power Functions Kit and their future with Power Up. And if I didn't think they had a future, I wouldn't have bought two more. Okay, there's three specific things that I want to go through today on how to integrate your, your Power Functions with your Boost Hub and your Power Up Hub. Let's take a closer look. Okay, the first thing I want to show you is integration with a Power Functions servo motor. So let's get the app going. Turn our smart hub on, and now we're connected. So what we want to do is just start with the very basics of how these function. So we've got our servo motor hooked up to channel B. So right now we're in the zero position, and we want to go to negative 20. And you can see what has happened is the power function switch has actually turned 20 degrees at a speed of 20, and that has turned our power function servo. So turned it 20 degrees towards us, towards the camera, and this has turned 180 degrees. Let's turn it back to zero. Now, this is actually going to be part of my Akiyuki ball cleaning machine, and I actually want to take a different approach to it. Instead of using mind storms, I'd like to use Boost. I've got it mostly sorted out, so stay tuned for that. Subscribe to get that video. It should be around 20, end of 2019, so stay tuned for that one. So what we've actually got here, though, is we run a Boost, a boost Hub with our power function switch. And the switch is just attached with a four by 10 plate, you can do four by eight if you're using one side. And that's enough strength, clutch power, to hold it in position for that rotation. So if we have a look at it again, we're going 20 degrees negative. You can see it's turned, and then we'll go the other way. So what we're doing is we're actually using, again, the battery power running the servo motor and we're not actually consuming that much power for the hub. So now with that thought in mind, let's go to, to number two, which is motors, power function motors. Now this is an M motor, we can use an L motor, we can use an XL motor, it won't matter, same function. And that's hooked up to our ACE A drive, or our A um, drive, and it's hooked up to the power function switch to the motor. So let's take a look. So negative 20 again, we've got rotation. Zeros off, and we've got counter rotation. Now the good thing about this, again, the really good thing is we're consuming the power from the power functions, not the hub. Now, down only downside is is that it's not power controlled. It doesn't have speed control, so you can't vary the drive. Now, if there's some smart cookies out there, some engineers listening to this, and electrical engineers, or some really cluey electronics hobbyists. It'd be great to see if we can get an output out of here into a variable control DC controller to control the motors, that's where it's at. Something along the S, like the s brick does. So if you can do that, hit me up and we'll make it work. So if you've just got a project where you just power functions on, power functions off, or motor on, motor off, this is the best way to go. You're not consuming the six triple A's, you're consuming six double A's much cheaper and more efficient. So the final thing I'd like to show you guys is, is this phone holder. It's not just a little phone holder, it's actually a phone holder with a power function IR controller built into it. It tabs up here for control so we can flip her over. You can actually see they're in an ergonomic position. So it's modeled on any of your game controllers. Now why would I want to incorporate my phone with a IR controller? Well, what I want to do is build a excavator and have the tracks with IR. So I just finished this today and this should be up very shortly on my YouTube YouTube page. And if you're watching this after June 2019, it should be on my YouTube page. So have a look around, you'll be able to find it. So thanks again for watching. I'm Henry of HRU Bricks. It's time to get building.